okay good day guys you're welcome again to my channel and today i'll be showing you something simple but kind of different with slab insertion options in product structure so i'll be showing you how to go about your slab insertion options in product st structure yes again in case you're new to my channel i'm joshua the designer i create amazing structural engineering content and other other engineering designs at large okay so i've shown you different ways of having of modeling in product structure and i've shown you how to go about various things around the foundations the beams how to analyze and all but today um, i see something unique about our slabs some slabs are not um the conventional way that we know know them so we have different kind of formation and that is what i want to show you now okay so i'll start from where you where you know so that from there we'll build up to where other people don't really get the insight okay so this is what i have 150 six lab and um, a cover of 20 and the loads the dead load so I'll use a room and impose load let's use residential or okay that's fine so then insertion beam region so I can use this this is a way this is one of those ways we can have our slab so another way is by picking axis which will start from just we want to fill in the space with the slab so i'll go anti-clockwise or you go clockwise okay this is the next then i have this then i come back to this then i have that so all the axes that encompass that particular panel you go either you go clockwise or you go anti-clockwise by picking that so i want to use the third picking point so i pick this pick this pick this pick this and i have my slab so you can use any of these three methods and you have it that's fine that's one way then we have another method or another way of having it so the first one i can have something like this and okay then i can continue with arc hit an arc then i drop it and i finish okay so i select my slab then I have it okay you see one of those ways and um, also I can have this then you can have minus one one two then you go back to your slab you have that as simple as that so then you can also have these from here then to this place the rectangle then you have that now in any case you might produce this kind of cantilever slab using the the type slab type here which we know as the type 12 so you can have something like this this slab 12 then okay the length of my cantilever one meters okay so if you have parapet load you can input as applied so we have something like this so i can have it to be 
yeah so automatically it combines this edge together so this also so you see that is just the way to go about your different kind of slab in Sasha so if you have any question along this line you can just um, use the comment section please ensure that you like and you subscribe this to this video and to this channel also share with your colleague that should get better in structural engineering so thank you very much bye